svar så. This is place the boobies fun. And you know, disaster boobies. Is it a very good genre? There aren't too many disaster boobies that are memorable. Hal, my favorite disaster boob of all time, the day after tomorrow, is the kind of a boob which I rewatch over and over again. In fact, I rewatch it very rarely. Meaning that the best disaster boob in my opinion doesn't have much rewatchability. And that is very sad. You know, another great disaster movie is Independence Day. I don't see much of rewatching that one much either. Yeah, that genre as a whole is just extremely fucking forgettable. Hal, Western movies have more rewatchability than disaster movies. Which is saying a lot. Because unless a Western movie has fantasy elements or something like that, Western movies is a very limited genre. In fact, I think that's the main reason why they stopped being made regularly eventually. There isn't much you can do with the Western movie genre. So, let's talk about Twister. Honestly, I went into this movie wanting to like it. Really, I did. I didn't expect anything great, but I wanted at least to see a movie that's at least good during one viewing of it. Sadly, that's not what I got. This is a bad movie. So, what's so bad about it? Well, let's talk about it. So this movie basically tells the story of someone who wanted to deal with tornado incident back when he was a kid. And as an adult, she does experiments of some sort. Yeah, I already started talking about the main character of the movie, Helen Hunt, played by Joan Harding. Now here's the thing, she easily could have been a very interesting character, but she is it for some reason. Now by the beginning of the movie when her family had to deal with fucking tornadoes, I was hoping that she would be able to survive just fine. But there was something about that scene that was bothering me. And that's the fact that the characters in the movie were pretty bland. I mean, I cared a little bit that they were affected by a tornado. I did, but not by a whole lot. And yeah, when she is an adult, she is very fucking bland. She could have been an interesting character, I don't know how they fucked that up. Now then, the next character we're going to talk about is William Harding, played by Bill Praxton. He has the exact fucking same problem as the main character. He's basically someone who befriends the main character and yeah, they're both fucking boring. Now, I'm not going into further detail about either of those two. Instead, I'm gonna address a problem that I have with this movie overall. All of the characters in this movie, every single last one of them, including those two, are unforgivably forgettable. I mean, seriously, for most of the movie, I was struggling to keep up by because it was that fucking boring. How the hell did the movie manage that? I don't fucking know. And all of these are good actors. I can tell that they are, but they for some reason managed to come up with a bland performance. You know, do you want to know the main issue why this bothers me so much? Well, I will gladly fucking tell you, because you see, getting hit by a tornado is actually a thing that happens in real life. Thankfully, I never had to experience that myself, since tornadoes are very rare here in Iceland. In fact, I don't think I have ever experienced a tornado in real life. But I know for a fact that tornadoes do exist in real life, and tornadoes are fucking terrible. I know that there are some places in the United States where people have to deal with fucking tornadoes. And that's really no fucking joke. And I know that tornadoes, very powerful ones, exist elsewhere in the world too. That's fucking horrible. And this movie easily could have been a great movie about good people having to deal with fucking tornadoes. It easily could have been. But what ruined it for me is the fact that the characters are very fucking forgettable. And honestly, I find it insulting that the characters are so forgettable. Now don't get me wrong, this movie isn't a mockery of a serious thing that is a thing in the real world such as the movie Pearl Harbor. But it could have been a better movie, that's all I'm saying. So it's time for my overall thoughts. Yeah, this movie fucking blows and for that I'm of course gonna give it the rating two middle fingers. So fucking disappointing, it could have been so much better. Well, guys, you reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.